Hey everyone, welcome back to the design system series. In the last video, we tackled colors and now it's time to bring some order to fonts and text styles. I don't know about you, but I've spent way too long digging through messy text styles trying to find the right heading size or font family for body text. Not fun! In this video, we'll be setting up a lean and flexible typography system using Figma's powerful styles features. Get ready for maximum font control. So, why we need to build a typography system? Let's get real. We've all seen interfaces where the text styling is all over the place. Not the best look for branding, am I right? With a typography system, you can wave goodbye to disjointed text and say hello to beautiful visual harmony. Your content will sparkle with consistency, no matter where users encounter it. When text sizes and spacing are perfectly dialed in, reading becomes a breeze for users. It's like a warm, fuzzy blanket for their eyeballs. By crafting your typography intentionally, you'll heroically transform any blob of text into a reading experience as smooth as butter. Let's be honest, to crafting amazing textiles takes time. Why go through all that work again and again? With a typography system, just access those polished styles anytime with a click. Now you can breathe easy knowing reused styles are your new BFF for efficiency. While keeping things consistent, you still gotta have room to get creative and customize. No fear, a good system won't cramp your style. Now that we understand the importance of a typography system, let's kick things off by talking about typefaces and how to choose the right fonts for your design. When choosing fonts, consider your project's purpose and audience. Are you designing for a corporate client, a creative agency, or a tech startup? Each context calls for a different font style. For example, a clean sans serif typeface may suit a modern tech company, while a serif font can provide a traditional, authoritative tone for enterprises. When building your system, you'll want to strategically select one or two fonts. Less is often more. In this video, I'll be using Poppins for my primary long-form font. Poppins has a very regular, no-nonsense appearance with straight lines and open shapes. It is designed for excellent legibility across screens. Generous proportions and space between letters help it remain highly readable even at small sizes. But for secondary text, we need something with contrast. I'll pair my beloved Poppins with Lado, a classic serif with similar proportions. So in summary, carefully choosing complementary fonts is crucial for establishing an effective typography system. Having a flexible yet consistent font framework will elevate all your interfaces. Your users will thank you. Now that we have set up our fonts, it's time to put them to work in a typographic scale. This will create visual harmony between different text elements on the page. But before constructing the scale, we need to level set on what typographic ingredients make up our design system. There are quite a few. Let's quickly define the core elements we'll be styling. Headings come first, H1 being the top dog for things like page titles, then H2, H3, and so on for diminishing levels. Gotta have that hierarchy. Body text is the meat and potatoes paragraphs that make up most of your content. Our titles and subtitles complement the headings and body with some extra flair. Captions add helpful little details, especially for images. And buttons! Can't forget these clickable babies. Clear, readable text is the key. That's a lot of typography to structure. But have no fear, our trusty scale will assign each element a size and style that plays nicely together. Now that we've defined the crew, let's start constructing the scale and really put these fonts to work. A considered proportional scale allows impact to increase smoothly from body text up through headlines. I'll walk through how to set this up efficiently in Figma using styles. First, we need to define our scale. There are a few options for creating a typographic scale. We could do it manually, but there's an even easier way using the Type Scale plugin for Figma. Let's select this text and click on Resources icon and move to the Plugin tab and search for Type Scale. There are two different plugins, but I prefer this one. This plugin gives you your typography system based on a base size and the scale type you define. First, the base size. For each different device, you need to set a base size appropriate for comfortable reading. 
For example, on a mobile, you want to use a smaller base size like 1416 pixel for body text, but for the desktop, you need a larger base size like 18 pixels for optimal readability. Next, the scale. You can see there are different scales here. You can choose anything you think suits your project. The choice depends on factors like desired visual hierarchy, number of scale levels needed, and stylistic goals. Testing is the key. Minor third and the major third is the most common scale on a typography system that gives you a defined and clean hierarchy. You might want to use perfect fourth and golden ratio for dramatic and elegant headings on your landing page. I'll go with major third and I need six steps above my base size and two step below it. This round value here is helping you to avoid creating something like that, so keep it enabled. After you are sure about your value, click on generate. And there you have it. You can test your font and change the font size to your desire. I'm not happy with the size of my fonts, so I'm gonna refine all this to what I want. This is not what you had to do. This is just the way I prefer. So you can change it to whatever you want. After sizing, you need to define the line height. I don't define a different height for each size. Instead, I use percentage. The standard is between 1.2, 1.5 based on fonts and the usage. It's 120% now, which means it gives us 86.4 for 72 pixel font size, but I'll prefer 150% line height for this font. Again, you can do it differently. It's not written on stone. It's time to assign each one of them to our hierarchy. Our base size is assigned to body text, and next one is the H6, and so on all... For the caption, I want to use the same size of subtitle, but with Lato font. We're almost there. Now it's time to name each one and make a Figma style to use it in our design. Let's start from the top. Select the H1, find the right sidebar, click on the style icon to open the style menu. Click on plus and add a name. The best way to name our style is to start with the usage, like if a heading is a body or what, and finish the name with the weight of the font. So for the H1, let's name it heading slash one slash regular. Let's move forward and do it for all the text. Congrats, there you have your typography system. You may want to change the look of the frame to something better for the documentation. But for now, I leave it like this. We've constructed a polished proportional typography system using Figma. Now you're equipped to structure websites and apps with a flexible typography framework. No more font chaos! I've put together a Figma file with nine popular typography systems for mobile and website you can reference. You'll find the link down below. Hit subscribe and let me know in the comment what you want to see in future videos. Stay creative!